it's open! Welcome back gamers, the doctor's in. We're at part two. We're gonna get some amiibos opened up and talk about them, see what it's all about. That's right, free the beasts. So, got classic Mario. This is the fire Mario. I think this was the first printing. Yep, part of the first wave of amiibos to come out. That was the first amiibo I ever laid eyes on. I'm surprised that they don't have the true fire color, like the white overall. That is really surprising, yeah. So we have fire Mario. It's the fireball. It's translucent. Uh, zero points of articulation. <laughs> that, uh, this many. Z a Smash Brother stand. And he has lots of detail in the overalls and even the little pins. So. Yeah, pretty sweet looking figure. Easily one of the coolest Mario figures I've seen in quite a while. Definitely. And I keep saying he looks like the figure. He looks like Mario. Those 80s toys, like, it's a little confusing. Yeah, might not really wonky look. eyes. Yeah. Speaking of wonky eyes, Toon Link. Oh, dang. Yes. This was uh, from The Legend of Zelda, also oh, known as... Uh, I uh, see what you did there. Wind Waker, right? Wind Waker, yeah. Wind Waker, yeah. picking this one up the same time that I picked up Rosalina. So I got this after waiting in line at Target. There we go. Some Toon Link action there. Looking all suave. He's got his big, uh, big anime style eyes. Lots of detail on the shield. Got that clear base to hold him in his action pose. And a pretty sweet looking figure overall. I remember seeing the trailer for Wind Waker and it looked nothing like that. <laughs> yeah, they uh, they changed it up quite a bit, but uh, honestly, I thought the style was pretty cool. I know it was, uh, you know, kind of kind of laughed at when it first came out, but I thought it was a nice change of pace. Uh, I'm a huge fan of cel uh, cel shaded graphics personally. Yeah. In fact, I actually skipped playing Wind Waker when it first came out, and I just recently went through the Wii U version. And I'm oh, halfway yeah. through it, I really like it, and I think they really proved upon the game. Uh, one of the mods I want to do is I want to take the figure and get three more and paint them, and I could do the four sword version, so the red, purple, and blue, I believe. Oh, don't ask me, I'm colorblind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that idea is copyright Doc Ness, so yeah. don't go stealing that idea, anybody. One of my favorite characters, we got Toad, and this is the Mario Party version of Toad. That's right. Uh, no to my knowledge, version. yeah, the only yeah, one, the only as one. far as Amiibos are concerned. And uh, one mod I was thinking about doing is doing the Captain Toad mod. That would be awesome. Because it's, well, it's sculpty, it's really easy to do a backpack. Um, also, the headlamp is easy LED, it's one white LED. Oh man, that would look awesome. Yeah. Another cool mod could be a Toadette. Oh yeah. That would not be difficult to do. I don't have a good toad voice, but <laughs> hi <-yo>! Wow, <laughs> we, got <t> we got toad. Uh, not the Smash base, but the Mario Party base. This is his vest. Yeah, yeah, pretty sweet looking. All right, and uh, what do we got here? Timmy and Tommy, uh, again from Animal Crossing, characters that we don't really know too much about, but. Uh, I think we were saying this one reminded us of the twins from Bob's Burgers. That's how I'd like to imagine them interacting. <laughs> I, I think I'm on board with that one. The first time I saw it, I thought it actually it was a two-headed amiibo. It definitely has that look to it in the in the box. Maybe someone could tell us what they're all about. Leave that in the comments. Oh, so that's not shorts. That's aprons. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they're going uh, full-on French maid on you here. So just aprons, that's all. 
But uh, cool detail on the uh, the soapbox that they're standing on there with the little Animal Crossing logo. Uh, pretty cool looking figure overall. I uh, wish I knew more about them, but they're awesome looking. The color's done really well, and it looks like it has some shading in there too. Yeah, it's really well done. There's some, some definite airbrushing going on there. Star Fox. Star Fox is actually getting a little bit harder to find. It came back in print, uh, but with a new video game that came out, there was a, a run on all the Star Foxes. Oh, exactly, yeah. So, As I understand it, that unlocks the uh, classic R-Wing, I yes. believe. Yeah, pretty sweet mode. Don't pay scalpers. No. There will be more. There will be more. Unlike listening about Mother or any other games you want, there's nothing <laughs> really good about stopping the scalpers. Didn't we open this? No, it's Falco. 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 But Falco has uh, similar legs with yeah. the pistol and the, uh, the targeting device on the other other leg there. And the, the detail in the tail is very cool. Is that the soft plastic as well? It's the soft plastic. It's the multicolor. It's almost tricolor. Nice. And, uh, I would have liked to see the reticle to be actual glass or something you could look through. Oh, yeah. That would have been it's awesome. Frosted. Still, he can tell when the power level's over 9,000. He yes. can see it. All right. Well, you know what? Let's take a look at this big guy right here. This one was one of my personal favorites. This is the uh, the Retro 3-pack. You've got Mr. Game & Watch in the center here. you got uh, standard NES color Rob, and you've got the Duck Hunt dog. Or as they just refer to it, Duck Hunt. They don't even call it the dog. Now, do you think... They packaged, packaged it together because no one wanted Mr. Game & Watch or the Duck Hunt Dog by themselves. Oh, I would have bought the Duck Hunt Dog. Oh, I would have. Yeah. Absolutely. But uh, yeah, I think Mr. Game & Watch was definitely the, the pack-in sucker. Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's bust these out. Now, I will say that they give you a little bit of a bonus on Mr. Game & Watch in that uh, he's got a couple of different models to him. I think it's really cool with the Mr. Game & Watch. Having the extra models, I've seen people 3D print more bases. So you can have uh, all the bases being displayed. Yeah, not a bad idea. Yeah. So here, standard base. Um, that's two female ends, so there's a right way and a wrong way. But all the Mr. Gimmicks fit in, or <laughs> Mr. Gimmick. <laughs> all the Mr. Game & Watch fit in a certain way. Yeah, pretty sweet looking figure. Uh, you know, I'm not a huge fan of Mr. Game & Watch as a character, but I'd say they've done him justice in plastic form. He looks awesome. So, we've already covered the Famicom Colors Rob, so we won't go into too much detail on this one, but it's just the uh, the U.S. paint scheme on it. Mm -hmm. uh, awesome looking figure. One of my favorite. It is pretty awesome. Uh, call me crazy, but this one I think is one of my personal favorites. Oh wow! Maybe because I'm a dog person, but yeah, you got the uh, the duck hunt dog who taunted us all in our youth, and laughing at you every time you miss a shot, and of course the uh, the duck giving him what for here. So uh, I think it's a pretty sweet looking figure. I would waste bullets shooting at the dog. Oh, I, absolutely! I'm sure I'm not the only one. <laughs> There's got to be a mod out there somewhere where you can actually cap the dog. We should make that happen. I think so. All right, what do we got next? Um, not opening this one. There we go. So we got double arms can of Samus. Oh, no. <laughs> So we have Samus. Uh, the first time I saw this amiibo, I was kind of blown away because it, I, the paint job is so cool. I couldn't agree more. The paint job on that thing is spectacular. Oh, it's so shiny. Um, rocket packs, rocket packs on the back. Yeah, just a very high quality figure in general. I mean, even without the functionality of it being an amiibo, I would have paid full price for that just to have it on my desk. Also, I think it would have been cool if they did the clear glass or the green glass so you could see. Oh, true. Inside. Very true. No, yeah. I mean it's first run, so. <laughs> exactly. I, I smell a potential mod. Yeah. I think with a little Dremel action, <laughs> little, we can make that happen. Dremel action, yeah. little face. We can do this. All right. Cool. All right. So next up, we got Mr. Yoshi or Mrs. Yoshi. Genderless Yoshi. Genderless Yoshi. Yeah. 
your uh, Dinosaur Pal from many a game. Uh, this one is the Super Mario edition from Mario Party. Do you remember Yoshi's actual name? No, no I do not. Oh, I, I'm going to insert it, but it's really long, but it ends, I believe, in Yoshisaurus Rex. I could see that. So there's Yoshisaurus Rex in uh, all of his glory here, or her glory, or the glory. Uh, looking kind of like, uh, almost like a Mr. Bean pose, like, ooh, what am I doing? Yes. But, uh, yeah, you got the, uh, the shell on the back there, it's super cool detail. It almost looks like it should be a Disney Infinity character, like it has that Oh, very much so. Yeah. Very claymation looking, mm -hmm. but awesome piece. Let's continue the, the Yoshi theme. Ha -cha. Um, I'm going to start with this one. Okay. I'll give you one. Go yes. for it. So it's the blue yarn Yoshi. Blazow! Green! And pink. Dragon Zord! Turtle! <laughs> now, I, I like the blue Yoshi the most. Triceratops it is. Yeah. Only because you could fly, and I thought it was kind of broken. And being able to fly through that game. Oh, dude, that. Oh, dang. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely uh, a lot easier once you can fly through things. So you got He's attached on the back with a ribbon that says Yoshi. I didn't open this in time for Christmas, but I was looking for an extra set because this would be really easy because they give you a. a oh, loop yeah. So you could. They'd make sweet little tree, tree ornaments. Yeah. So. Yep, this is definitely a. It is yarn. You can feel the hard base where it says amiibo on the bottom. And it has all the functionality of Yoshi. Yeah, now I'll admit, I was very surprised when I found out that they were making actual yarn amiibos. Uh, my understanding when I first saw them was like, oh, they sculpted it to make it look like yarn. Yeah, like, me how too. cool is that? And it's like, no, wait, they really are yarn? How bizarre. So, pretty awesome. So someone had to do that. Yeah. Someone's grandma, <laughs> a whole slew of grandmas working on these. Yeah, and for roughly the same price, too. I think, yeah. what, they were like a dollar more or something? Dollar, yeah, a dollar, dollar, two more. Yeah, they were not much more expensive and way more work, I'm sure. No painting faces on these. I mean, I guess you could. <laughs> There's pterodactyl version. These are all Power Ranger references for people who don't know. Yeah, <laughs> in case you uh, were wondering, huge fans of the series. All right. Luigi, one of the most odd poses ever. It's like human bullet Luigi. So part of this stemmed from Smash. So you had the Smash figures, and they didn't have to really worry about gravity or, you know, laws of physics. <laughs> yes. So you had uh, renderings of figures, and all the Smash characters, at first, they took direct 3D models. So some of them are a little odd. I think Luigi's a little odd. Maybe he's, like, planking? Planking, yeah. Or f Trust fall forward. Yeah, exactly. You know, he's got his brother. He can uh, he can trust his brother for sure. You know what they need to do is they need to make a, a Mario Kart Luigi with his mad muggin. Ooh, that would be a good mod. That would be pretty great. All right, and here we have uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh wait, no, that's not Sonic. Uh, this is Mabel, Mabel from Animal Crossing. Everyone's favorite Animal Crossing character, Mabel. Um, it's that character, that, that thing with uh, digging up uh, plants and mail? I still think it's a Sonic cosplay. I think that's a villager cosplaying as Sonic. Yes. We'll go with that answer. Ooh, surprisingly sharp on the back. So definitely not the soft plastic. That, uh, you know, it could be used as a hairbrush. Might switch the bottoms with Sonic and Mabel. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Some people are gonna cringe, but yeah, Robin, it's gonna open. So I waited in line for three or four hours, not for Robin, but for all of 
that way of the Fire Emblem characters yeah. and everything. And I came off shift at like 6 in the morning. Toys R Us didn't open until about 10-ish. And it was so hot. <laughs> and I got this. And I was the last one to get the complete set that was available. And you're probably the only one that's going to open it. Probably. These were made to be played with. And I don't main as Robin. I won't tell you what character I do main with, but uh, definitely not Robin. Oh, it's open! That's another one where if you lied to me and told me that was a Final Fantasy character, I would totally believe you. I didn't realize this. Robin's book is very detailed. Wow. There's, there's little, actually like little writings inside. Yeah, there's a little font and looks like a spellcaster book. There once was a man from Nantucket? I can't read the rest. But all the clothing, uh, the line detail, the hair, facial expression, very spot on. Yeah. The awesome Chris Sword, which is uh, a Filipino weapon, oh, actually. Yes. The curved blade. Pretty sweet. All right. So, so we're down the... to our last box of Amiibos. We got the Fighters. Oh, me. So me, Sword Fighter. Me, Gunner. I'm going to take the audio. <laughs> Me sword fighter, me gunner, me brawler. Uh, there are amiibos that do things in games. Yeah. I think in these ones, um, these would be the most fun to mod. Oh, absolutely. And I was hearing fun stories of people who set up their Mii's and... Uh, coincidentally, they looked like the fighters. That's awesome. So that would be very cool. Uh, personally, I thought it would have been cool if you could send in your me and have it printed. Yeah, that would be excellent. And then I mean, 20 bucks, five different heads you could pick from, hairstyles. There was a service back in the day for WoW players where you could get your character from WoW 3D printed in like a, a desktop uh, action figure. That is awesome. It was pretty great. Okay, she's got like her Mega Man arm going on. That's pretty awesome. Of course, the the brawler, who was uh, my personal favorite of the me types, he's got some pretty sweet combos in uh, in Smash Brothers. Does anyone main a competitive brawl as the me fighter? I don't think I've seen any. Uh, you know, I don't play enough of it to really say that I main a character. But if I had to pick one, it probably would be the brawler. I play him quite a bit. Right on. Yeah. All right. KK Slider! Again, not a huge fan of Animal Crossing, but I will add that KK Slider is the one character that I do know. Uh, he's basically the singer-songwriter of the, uh, the series, and you meet him in the, uh, the middle of the yard, and he sings you songs, not in English, and it's great. Awesome. I've watched many a video online of just the little dog with his guitar. <laughs> Pretty rad stuff. Uh, as for the, the two creepy sheep that are with him, uh, that's uh, Cyrus and Reese. Not familiar with them, but they look awesome. Kind of remind me of characters from Um Jammer Lammy, if you remember that game on PlayStation. No, no. It was the follow-up to Parappa the Rappa. Okay. And it was the rock version. Wow. Yeah, and it had a lot of characters that had this look to them. Th they look like I owe them money. <laughs> right? <laughs> Cyrus is going to break your legs, dude. <laughs> Until three o'clock. <laughs> Tired of messing around. Boss needs the money. Yeah, you better not mess with Cyrus, otherwise you're gonna not be walking away, you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> and then of course, the man, KK Slider, in all his glory. I didn't realize he's sitting on a stump. Yeah, yeah, that's the uh, the stump that he sits on in the middle of the forest when he's right. singing you songs. So he's a very cool looking figure. I kind of want to get one and uh, stick it next to my dog's water bowl. Can an animal have a spirit animal? Sure, why not? 
I imagine that's Gus's spirit animal. There you go. Alright. Oh, do you want to open this one? I guess I kind of have to. Yeah. The man, the myth, the legend, Hado Ken Ryu. Or Ryu, if you want to say it proper. But I've been mispronouncing it for decades, literal decades, and uh, I'm going to draw my line in the sand. I was really excited when he got announced for Smash, and the idea came, he's going to be an amiibo. Yup, and here he is. Look at how awesome he looks. That is a sweet figure. His hair, the muscles. Yeah, his, uh, his bandana blowing in the wind. He is very awesome. Imagine that would be. There's a lot of mods you could do with this. Changing the key color. Oh, dude, uh, yeah. Was it dark for you? Yep. A Get his dark hado do. going. Oh, man. You could do, like, the uh, the Dragon Ball Z figures that have, like, the little energy circle around him. Very easy in mod. Oh, yeah. A lot of cool stuff you can do with that one. Bowser. So this is the Mario, Mario Party Bowser. They have very similar... Uh, poses. Yeah, that is true. They are very similar. At first, when uh, I saw the release for this, I thought they were just releasing another one of the same pose. Now, I will say that uh, when that one was released, uh, the other one was getting a little bit hard to come by. So I thought maybe, yeah, same idea. Maybe they right. just re-released him. But he's heavy. Yeah, he's one of the larger, heavier pieces for sure. Especially the turtle shell, all the spikes. I love the detail on the shell itself, where you can actually see the ridges. It really does look like a real turtle shell. And the scale, his skin, it's very textured. Pretty awesome stuff. He's ready to kidnap your princess. Oh no, look out. <laughs> He's climbing in your window. He's snatching your princess up. Alright, next we got Greninja from Pokemon fame. So this is from one of the, uh, the later Pokemon series. I want to say... No, it was before X and Y. I don't quite recall where Greninja first made its appearance, but uh, a very cool character. Water type, frog, ninja, what's not to like? Uh, attacks people with his tongue, which as you can see is worn almost like a bandana. I thought it was a scarf. I didn't realize that's his tongue. No, that is totally his tongue. Whoa. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Just got a little creepy. Yeah, stars on his legs. Oops. Yeah, very cool looking yeah. character. He seems like he'd be in the new uh, Pokémon Tournament game. I believe you are correct. Yeah. The man. The Mega Man. Uh, and Gold Mega Man. Double edition! So the Gold Mega Man came in, uh, pack in for one of the Legacy Collections. Yeah, the 3DS. Yes. 3DS Legacy Collection. You'll see that it actually lacks the box art, which is kind of strange, but uh, that was because it was a third-party amiibo in a pack-in game. Uh, this was the only one. Yeah. yeah. Mega Man, I've seen countless mods uh, changing him into uh, base. Um, oh yeah, Proto X. Man. Yep. One I thought would it's cool is changing the articulation of the arm so it's straight out and you can do an led oh yeah or you can do that uh sculpted clear so kind of like dragon ball z where it's shooting out uh modding this amiibo is particularly easy you just soak him in very hot but not boiling water and it loosens up the plastic and it makes it more malleable so kind of like a mouth guard if you've ever done any kind of sparring yes. so there's several Mega Mans out there they're shooting Compare him to his golden brother here. So. Same pose. Yep, same sculpt, but the gold kind of looks uh, almost like a mini Oscar. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I wonder if there's going to be a Money Number no. 9 amiibo. I wonder. I wonder too. I wonder if it'll be in the exact same pose, but, but slightly <laughs> different. And delayed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up we got Dark Pit, which uh, I imagine is kind of like Evil Ryu, but know, yeah. Kid Icarus. Not familiar with Dark Pit as a character other than in Smash. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you know the backstory on that one at all? I think he shows up in the new 3DS 
uh, Kid Icarus game, if I'm not mistaken. Gotcha. Have not gotten my hands on that one yet, but I would like to try. So. I really like his wings. You can see each feather. It's very cool. Yeah, they put a lot of detail into that. Of course, he's got the uh, very imposing Your Next pointing with his, uh, his sword. It's a pretty cool figure. Kid Icarus for the 3DS was the first game I traded away in a long time. <laughs> now, regret. Regret. I got it back. I I got the stupid collector's or I got the collector's edition back and everything. <laughs> but what it was is it has such an odd control style and used the stylus to swipe that I scratched my Pikachu 3DS screen just Ooh, right across that it in hurts. the middle. So I had to take a break from uh, from Pit. Let's uh, do that one. Oh, first. yeah, that makes yeah. sense. There we go. Speaking of Pit, the original, not dark, standard colors Pit. So you'll see that this one is uh, in a much less imposing pose. Yeah. A little bit more friendly. Uh, not fighting with a sword, but rather the uh, typical bow and arrow here. And this is one of those that was crazy expensive at first. Yeah, this one was pretty hard to come by for quite a while, I remember. So I had a more limited release, and part of that was, I think Nintendo didn't bank on people being very familiar with the character. Right. It wasn't a Mario. Everyone wants to get the Mario Amiibo first, so you have other characters that aren't as popular that are more the short prints. I think this one was pretty early on in the Amiibo run as well, so I think that Nintendo in general wasn't sure how popular Amiibos were going to be yes. at all. Yes. Pikachu! I don't know who that is. Never heard of it. It's a monster that goes in your pocket. So yeah, some kind of monster pocket thing. Monster in my pocket? Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. That Pikachu. I like its tail. Very flexible. <laughs> you can see underneath him, his little feet. I think it would have been cool if he had some sparks coming off the cheeks. Yeah, yeah. I think, again, another easy mod. Some super glue. Yeah. <laughs> some clear plastic. I think yeah. we can make that happen. Now, I used to have a, like, four-inch Pikachu figure that had two uh, sensors on the bottom. And when you held him, he would say Pikachu. That's awesome. And the cheeks would light up. <laughs> the only problem is he would continuously say Pikachu, and his cheeks would light up. That's ah. how you grow your parents crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu. I don't know if you're aware the the voice actress for Pikachu is this old Japanese woman. Nice. <laughs> she does the voice very well. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Next up, Silver Mario. Not to be confused with Metal Mario, though I think that functionally that's actually the power that they gave it in Mario Maker. I think so. Yeah, you'll see that uh, this one actually has a little badge on it that says uh, Limited Silver Edition. Pretty sweet. He has the same pose as the other Mario figures. Uh, we just had a can of spray paint. <laughs> it's a me, Silver Mario. I think he looks really cool in silver. Very awesome looking figure. It still maintained the, the aesthetics of his face. And his eyes are, I think, painted on after. Yeah, I think you're right. It almost looks like a watermark, the way that they do it over the silver. The gold Mega Man kind of had this eerie look in his eyes. Yeah, <laughs> just dead inside. Speaking of gold... Gold Mario... For a long time, this is one of the harder ones to get of the modern generation. Is that a Walmart exclusive? Uh, I believe it might be. I think it was a Walmart exclusive, yeah. I pre-ordered this. I'm really lucky I had the opportunity to do that. If not, it would have been very hard. Yeah, my, very hard to come by. My Walmart near me is very bad about putting out Amiibos. <laughs> so there we go. Gold Mario out of the box. I don't know, his eyes in this one, just they look scary. Yeah, I'm of the opinion that the silver one actually looks cooler. Yes. Alright. 
So here is one. <coughs> Excuse me. Of Palantina from Kid Icarus. Also Smash. Smash is the only way that I know her, but uh, you know, again, hadn't gotten my hands on the new Kid Icarus games. I'd definitely like to try them. Now, this is one of the more detailed pieces. Wow. Yeah, there is a lot going on there. So we'll try to get in close here and get some of the details. But I mean, you can see there is a lot going on in that sculpt. That is very impressive. Really cool detail on the hair on the back. Uh, she's got like, looks like energy wings and a halo. A lot of cool translucent pieces. Uh, the top of her staff is translucent as well. She is really cool looking. Uh, look at the, the iridescent quality on that shield as well. It's mm -hmm. like a blue pearl. Really nice looking. It's almost reflective. Yeah. It's very cool. Yeah, easily one of the most impressive looking. Also very impressive. Yeah, Omar. Olimar. 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 Yeah, Olimar. Yeah, this one stands out as being one that has a clear helmet piece, which I thought was pretty awesome. And I know we've mentioned that on a few others where we thought that would look cool. They actually did it on this one. This is Gen 1 Pikmin with him. I really like this game, but I wish they would get rid of the timer. The timer, uh, the yes. countdown, just, it worries me so much. <laughs> it's like Majora's undue Mask. stress. I believe in the newer versions, you can have a playthrough, the less stressful version. <laughs> yes. But playing it for the very first few times, was trying to get as much done, as many missions as I could. Why? And I have no clue what to do. And I'd always come back so early, so I wouldn't lose any Pikmin. Yeah, and I will say that uh, Pikmin 3 on the Wii U was really hard to get for a long time. And uh, luckily, Nintendo went ahead and uh, reprinted it with the Nintendo Select. So finally got a copy, going to give it a shot one of these days real soon. Here's another one that I really like, and this is Bowser Jr., which I think started as a Toys R Us exclusive and then eventually found its way to other stores. Yes. But uh, that's how I got it, was waiting in line at a Toys R Us. So what makes this one cool is that he's got the... Uh, the clown car going on. You can see they even put the propeller on it. Oh. And it's got the illusion of uh, a flight, the way that they've got it bent. And that is on purpose. And he looks like he's moving kind of fast, the way that they've got him leaned in, which I think is a pretty nice touch. A super cool character, very fun. Uh, I like playing as Bowser Jr. in Smash Brothers as well. I'd be concerned about the Amiibo falling over, but it's weighted very well, especially with the stand. Yeah, they did a very good job of counterbalancing it. And his, his uh, scarf its very cool. Yeah. Now that would also be another one that might be fun to mod and do all of the Koopa Kids. Yes. I I've saw one or two. Uh, they were able to 3D print the clown car, and then they sculpted all of them. Nice. But... It was a lot of work, I'd imagine. I can only imagine. I mean, there's, what, seven, eight of them to eight, do? At least Oof. eight. Of them. Can you name them, though? Uh, I know there's Lemmy, and Morton, and Ludwig, and Roy. Wendy. Uh, That's all I got. Iggy. <laughs> Iggy with the glasses. Now, what made things even more confusing is the Mario cartoon show, because they had all different names. That's right, they did. Do you remember the episode where they kidnapped Millie Vanilli? No. <laughs> it is, was awesome. Is that the rapping episode? I think it the, might have been. The, there was a, an episode where they went to a world and everything had the rhyme. It was very, very hardcore. Might have been similar. <laughs> but yeah, they kidnapped Millie Vanilli and they used their magic powers to turn them into accountants. Oh, And okay. Princess Peach was not having it because that's her favorite band. Of course. It's canon. You have to believe it. All right. We have regular Yoshi. The OG. He was out for a walk, you know. It's that same uh, sculpted style. 
Yeah, it's a little bit smaller than the uh, Mario Party version, but not by much. It's still about the same size, but I think all the Mario Party ones are just a little bigger. Correct. I think I might paint him. He might turn into a blue Yoshi here. That would be soon. cool. You could do little wings. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Little Sculpey, man. You can make it happen. I saw someone do a mod with this one, and they put a tiny baby Mario on his back. Wee! Wee! <laughs> they still need to have that as a feature to turn that off. Yes, absolutely. All right. This Mr. Mario. I'm still waiting for my Waluigi, personally, but I'll take Wario in the meantime. I think he has a great pose on this, and he, for a little bit, he was hard to find. I agree, yeah, he was very tough to come by initially. <laughs> this is excellent. So, oh, wow. as a little throwback to uh, the WarioWare games. Hurry up. Hurry up on the back of his awesome jacket. So, this is uh, Wario in his biker gear. Uh, as we know, we've seen him on his uh, his mean chopper. So I think this is an awesome looking sculpt. There's cool detail. Uh, you can see the stitch marks on the jacket. He is awesome looking. Very highly detailed. Does not smell like garlic and onions though. <laughs> Yet. Yet. The doctor. We know that guy. I don't think the likeness is very good though. He doesn't look a thing like you. Oh, there it is. That, there we go. Yeah, see, that's all we were missing. Someone was saying I should cosplay as Dr. Mario for PRGE and just get a lab coat. I don't see why not. I right, got the stethoscope. So he's holding up his trademark pill. I'm surprised they haven't done the viruses yet. That's yeah, that would be cool. Very cool. Lab coat, uh, detail in the pants. I want to say that that one was a uh, Target exclusive? That it, sounds about right. If not exclusive, then maybe uh, a timed release where Target got him first. Now, uh, this is my Aloha, Dr. Mario. I don't know if you know the story, but I was in Hawaii for a couple weeks, and this came out in the middle of it. And I was kind of freaking out about trying <laughs> to find one. And uh, I checked stock at three of them on the island, and I couldn't find one. But surprisingly, the closest store just happened to have it. And I walked in that day, later that night, and they had one left. You can't beat that. And I tried to get him back home without smashing the box or denting it or any <laughs> anything. Well, that didn't quite work with my uh, carry-on luggage, but... I'm glad to have my uh, Hawaiian Dr. Mario. Maybe uh, Dr. Dr. Minihuna? Yeah. Oh, Dr. Minihuni? Minihuni, there, yeah, you, there go. you go. I got the little pink ball. Jigglypuff. And make sure not to anger him, otherwise he'll draw faces on you while you sleep. Oh no. What a jerk. It looks like he's dancing. Yeah, I would say that that's the happy dance. Think he needs a microphone? Yeah, that's I think that's very doable. I believe this was a Target exclusive at first. I think you're right, yep. That was a little bit hard to come by. I can see someone doing a ping pong ball and modding it. <laughs> yes. He still has some heft to him. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, he's pretty heavy, actually. That's definitely he's a solid piece. Solid piece. Very cool looking. Kind of got that Trump hair I've never really <laughs> noticed. <laughs> nice. It's terrific. Uh, this is the other pink ping pong ball. Uh, Kirby! It doesn't quite work the same. Yeah. I think Kirby is kind of the messenger of death. <laughs> you don't realize, but Kirby games come at the end of all console life cycles. You know, you are so right. And by there's an, a Kirby 3DS game, and I think that's going to be the nail in the coffin. Uh-oh. He gon' eat your system. He's also kind of hefty. I wonder if they made them from the same basic mold and then added the other pieces? Maybe. Roughly the same size. Yeah. He's definitely Kirby. Oh, yeah. And I was looking for Kirby figures before Amigos came out, and there's a whole line of, uh, like, Chinese knockoff PVC. <laughs> and they cost about the same as Amiibos. 
So probably the import cost, I would imagine. Yeah. Uh, there was an awesome line of Wendy's toys that came in their kids' oh, meal. Oh yes. They had some awesome looking ones. The Ice Kirby was the coolest with the big translucent crown. Yes. Very awesome. They also have Zero Suit Samus. Oh the, man. The other version of Samus. Remember there was such a like a backlash when this was first showed off. Oh originally. yeah, yeah. It's a, a little too uh, body. That's a B A U D Y. <laughs> now that that begs the question though, because if they plan to release every single character that's in Smash as an amiibo, I see where you're going. Yep, we're gonna get Sexy Cloud. I mean Bayonetta. <laughs> Yeah, we will probably see a Bayonetta figure, and uh, yeah, there's there's no way to not make her T for teen. Now, I was surprised Nintendo partnered with Playboy to do a Bayonetta cosplay. Oh, really? So, fully clothed, but it appeared in Playboy. Uh, one of the Playmates of the month or the year huh. did a one-to-one cosplay that was brought in for her, and they did a photo shoot. Wow, that's... I may have to hunt that down. That, that, that is not my uh, Nintendo that I'm used to, you know? It's a little more grown up, but yeah. I'm okay with that. <laughs> the detail on the gun, back of her suit, it's on point, it's very accurate. Her awesome looking boots, yes. those are very cool looking. Kind of reminds me of like Tron. Yeah. Kinda has that Tron look to it. I was almost thinking uh, Shell from Portal has the, the back piece uh, so she yeah. can jump and fall very high yes yes we got here so non-planking luigi from the super mario party i like this one better he has a good pose you know i like just how ridiculous the planking one is though there was a time when i had neither of them and i was like you know what i think i want the planking one you could do some good psychedelic mod or something with that true very true so there he is just giving his uh, standard tip of the cap Looks like he's ready to plumb some pipes. Take that as you will. Jump very horribly. Yes. I think he was the worst in Mario 2. You know, he had his uh, his occasional uses. There was some levels where he could do crazy shortcuts by doing his super jump. Really? Yeah, okay. but uh, overall, I was more of a Toad player. I was with everyone else. I went Peach. Ah, uh, yeah, floating. Yeah. Game breaking. You were playing it on easy mode. <laughs> I need to go back through and play that without the warps. Yeah, no warps, toad only. That's a fun game. Now, Mario 2, I believe, was similar to the broadcast satellite system, where they went in and so the game was already done, and they're characters from a cable company. And they were having like their annual event, and they wanted to do a game. Nice. I might be completely full of it, but <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is kind of how the game came to be, that originally they are... The mascots of this cable company. Oh, is that the Doki Doki Panic or yes. whatever it was? Yeah. Interesting. That's cool. So. Can't have Luigi without Mario. So this is the Mario Party Mario. I think he has a great pose. Yeah, I think I actually like this one more than I like the uh, the Fireball Mario. So this is fairly clean design. Not a lot of texture in his overalls. Um, yeah, one of the more simple sculpts for sure, but it gets the point across. I mean, it's a very classic looking Mario. I always thought there's the especially the Mario skin looks kind of orange to me. It's a little off. It's not that pale what Japanese people think of Americans. Yeah, you might be right. All right. Next we got King. I think I might have added a couple more D's. Maybe. I think I got him at Best Buy. And he was hard to find for a long time. I think he still is in demand. Uh, the price has gone down quite a bit, but... That's very heavy. Yeah, they, they did not make that many. And I really enjoy the hammer. He looks... It's almost like an Ice Climber hammer. Yeah, very much. Like Ice Climber-esque. I uh, got the cool star on the top. And uh, what I really like is the symbol on the back of his jacket there. Uh-oh. Almost looks like a, like a frog's head and a rabbit's head superimposed on each other. So, it, it means that they're uh, 
coming out with Star Fox too, though. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Also that, very heavy. That is very heavy. I think this is heavier than Bowser. Yeah, sculpted entirely out of lead. Yes. Uh, even the details in the gloves, you can see uh, it looks like they were sewn in because of uh, the additional paint and how yeah, it's molded. Yeah, exactly. It's very cool. I like that the beak looks like it's made of a separate piece of plastic, so it gives it a little bit more depth. And he looks very Japanese in the sense of like uh, the robe, the expression. It's just like a Japanese anime character that you'd see at like the bathhouse. Oh, very much so, yeah. Figure? Yeah. Bowser. Ah, uh, yes. Not to be confused with the other Bowser that we did. This is the, uh, the Smash Brothers version. Yeah. And, uh, we've made mention that the poses are pretty similar, and you'll see that that's definitely true. They're very similar. Uh, I think his shell is a little more shiny. Yeah, a little bit. And he's just slightly smaller in scale. Yeah, however, I think that he's got, uh, since you mentioned scales, uh, his arms have a little bit more detail. You can see a little bit more of the scale action, where the other ones seemed a bit more smooth. Awesome. Yeah, this one looks a little bit angrier, which makes sense. You know, get the one from the fighting game. Next up, we got Marth. From Final Fantasy. I mean, Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Oh, we're getting good at that. Yeah, you are. I think I waited in line for this one. This is probably in that group of Toys R Us ones that all came out at the same time. Yeah, that one was really tough to get for quite a while. I lucked out and got the set. His sword is uh, kind of flappy. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna need to recast that. <laughs> no, maybe that's part of the uh, the scheme. It's like a curved blade. Yeah. It's like a weird scimitar. I wonder if this is the house symbol in the back. Maybe. So apparently Marth is a Hufflepuff. Yes. Uh, Lucina. Not to be confused with John Cena. Is this one of those that you stroke their face also? <laughs> Maybe. So, this was one that I thought was really, really well detailed. As you can see, there's a lot of cool details going on there with the various belts. She's got a very cool looking sword stance. Pretty awesome figure in general. No sure details the, the on the cape. cape. Cape has a lot of movement. Yeah, I, no emblem on the back yeah. like uh, like Marth, but yeah, the cape itself does look very fluid. Very cool. Awesome piece. Digging the boots. Are those functional? I mean, they're past your knees, so. Uh, Works for Ms. Marvel. There you go. Roy, also from Fire Emblem. Much less creative name. Yeah. Marth, Lucina, Roy. He was that uh, half brother. Yeah, exactly. From the Bronx. <laughs> so Roy has a lot going on. All his pieces of armor. Lots of detail. He gets his uh, his house symbol on the back. Also, some movement in the wind with his headband. Uh, his cape. Yeah, it kind of has that uh, that Ryu look with the the bandana thing going on. Also, the thigh high boots. You know. Yeah, well, no. Ain't just for the lady. The OG version of Peach. In my opinion, way more detailed than the Mario Party version. Yes. I like this one better. I wish this was larger like the Mario Party, but the detail on the dress is awesome. Yeah, this is a very cool looking one. Possibly one of my favorite sculpts. I like her, uh, her nonchalant pose, and you'll see that she's got some... Uh, Extra details on the skirt there, where it's like a like a gold leafing. Very very cool. Uh, my only real complaint about this one is they didn't quite get the detail on her eyes as nice as the other one. Yeah. But the sculpt itself, very cool looking. I've seen this one where she's throwing a uh, a radish from Mario Two. Oh, I could see that. That would be awesome. Where you could put a umbrella in her hand. Oh, okay. Yep, yep. Like uh, Super Princess Peach on the the DS. Yep. Very cool. Awesome sculpt. Another one that I was really lucky to get right out of the gate was Little Mac. Oh, that one was very tough to come by. Very tough to come by. Um, 
Was that a Best Buy exclusive, I think? I don't remember. Their Best Buy... I almost want to say I got it Toys R Us. Could have been. Could have been. I saw a cool mod where someone painted it all black and then did the w green oh, wire frame. Oh, the wire frame. Body blow. Body so, blow. So if I get an extra one, that, that's going to happen. That's an excellent idea. I like that a lot. So It's a pretty basic figure, but has a lot going on, especially with the muscles, his, uh, his shorts, the shoes. Yeah, he's actually got pretty decent form for a boxer as well. That's a pretty mean looking right hook he's throwing there. Gotta stitch him a little pink jumpsuit though. Yeah, exactly. We got two more. All right. So since we had a boxer, I think the next way to follow up is with Falcon Punch. Captain Falcon of F-Zero fame. Though, I would say arguably more famous from Smash Brothers at this point. I would say so, too. Yeah, considering you don't ever actually see him in the F-Zero game because he's a, a pilot of a spacecraft. But there he is, uh, also with a gun, which I thought was kind of interesting. But uh, he's in the middle of one of his kicks. He's got a, a lot of cool detail on his back, again with his uh, house symbol as well, not to be outdone by the Fire Emblem crew. And, uh, very cool expression on his face. Very calm and collected as he's, uh, he's kicking a field goal. When are they going to have another F-Zero game? You know, they are definitely due for it. And I think that the, the Wii U would have been a great place to have one oh, as well. The, the mini game on, uh, on Nintendo Land was fantastic. Yeah. So yeah, bring back Captain Falcon. Last one for right now. This one that I was really excited to get at the time. Uh, it wasn't exclusive. It was very hard to find in stores. I got Meta Knight. Ah, uh, yes. I got this at Best Buy. Uh, I pre-ordered, and they had just a couple left on the shelf, and I forgot I did the pre-order, so I went and picked this up at customer service, and he looked at my ID and was like, well, do you also want your pre-order? And he <laughs> pulled up that I had another one, and at the time they were trying to limit. You can only buy one at a time. But I already purchased the one off the shelf, and I prepaid for this one, so they had done to do and it done. to me. Yeah. So I ended up uh, trading. No, no, no. I, I sold it at cost to uh, another collector for one I needed. So Meta Knight. It's gonna hurt. That's a, a Kirby's character. If I'm it saying? is. Okay. Yeah. So he's one of the bad guys. Uh, later on in the series, he joins your team. And you can play as Meta Knight, I believe. But he has great detail in the wings, his sword. Yeah, it's a pretty mean looking sword. Almost like the uh, the demon sword from the NES game of that name. And he's heavy. Yeah, yeah he's a burly figure. He has cool wings, uh, multicolored. Yeah, and again, he looks like he's made of separate pieces. Like that face mask almost looks like a different piece altogether, the way that they sculpted it. It's really cool looking. He has his Symbol on the shoulder pads. Yeah. And uh, very detail oriented. I like the uh, the finger covers on the gauntlets. Oh, It yeah. looks awesome. Awesome. Well, very cool. That is, uh, that's what it looks like to open a complete collection of Amiibos. I'm just excited that I'm going to get back so much space because <laughs> <clears throat> everything fits in the one tiny box. It's probably going to go live on one shelf. I don't do a display case, but the footprint when he laid everything out, it was the size of one bookcase. And like I said, I could fit hundreds of games on that. Absolutely. So Yeah, not only that, but now that they're open, you can actually scan them into your games. You can enjoy them for the purposes yeah. that they were made for. Uh, my personal favorite is still scanning them into Mario Maker yes. and making the 8-bit uh, the versions of them. So much fun. Awesome. Once again, where can they find you at? Well, I, I'm Johnny Motto, and you can find me on a weekly podcast called Bits, Bases, and Baskets with my buddy Shane Downey. And uh, we talk about video games, sports, comic books, movies, uh, pretty much anything to do with pop culture. So check us out on iTunes, Stitcher, anywhere you find podcasts. I want to say thanks so much for doing this with me. It's a labor. we got to open up all these Amiibos. <laughs> it's so much fun, though. Something you don't get to see every day. And thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until then, I'm the doctor. Thanks for watching, guys.